but this is something that's new for me. Like, you know, all these years I've, I've offered uh, tabs here in the past, and you know, for one reason or another, I wasn't completely happy with them. Um, but I think I kind of nailed it on this one. I've been work I'm working closely with with uh, Eric Yost over at Yost Tabs, and by using his base design, so if you kind of look at some of these things here, he's got a base base design for his uh, barebow tab. Um, I'm using his face, but I'm also adding my spacer. So this is what it would be as a basic one bolted down to his tab. Now, uh, I've taken that one step further and put a, uh, basically a, a top plate to his plate. Uh, and what that is is a kind of a three version. <laughs> it kind of builds up uh, and creates a uh, in the indexing for each of the fingers. So you kind of see that it's scalloped for each one of your, your index fingers. You may have seen that in, in other designs, like the Axel tab has a, a bit of that indexing going on. So I kind of took it to the next level. So uh, looking at it from a pure design standpoint, I thought, well, is there anything, any other advantages I can get from that scalloping other than just holding your fingers in place? Uh, so I ended up uh, building the, the middle finger up. So if you look at your hand, your, your fingers, your, your middle finger staggers up uh, you know, peaks, and then uh, you know goes back down to your your ring finger. By taking that, you know, taking some of the this you know, length out of your middle finger, you're then equalizing, increasing your 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 fingers right here for your hook. So I built this this thing so we have a much a, a little higher middle middle finger here uh, to take up some of that slack. So that's going to get you in a in a, a more uh, a straighter. Uh, uh, hook uh, and hopefully a cleaner release. Um, so by doing that, uh, other features on this one, uh, when you hook into it, uh, it's got a bit of a quick release. So um, for people that like to be anchored into the into it or you know the elastic band into it, it kind of takes a little bit of the freedom of, of, of movement away from your hands. So when you go down to pick, you know pull arrows and stuff like that, you kind of have to pull yourself out of the whole thing, or you have to just kind of work around it. Um, I've got a system here where, in working with the, uh, the spacer as it is, the, you know, kind of you know, the spacer that I've designed over the years, um, you can just take that, stretch it around, and you're bolted in. It, it's as, as secure as you're going to get, uh, nothing's going to go flying around, you can completely relax it. You know, it's not going anywhere. Um, it also has the uh, ability to be adjusted for the, the width of your finger. So in this spacer here, I've got uh, three stackable shims. So if your fingers are a little bit smaller, you can pull out one of the, one of the shims or two of the shims uh, and get it down to the, the, you know, the thickness of your, you know, your finger. So you can hone it to your whatever size your hand is. Uh, this will also, uh, you can take this thing and slide it back and forth. So it has a, uh, uh, you can kind of see this slot right here. You can adjust it as far back as that. And I don't know if anybody has fingers that long, but I made it, <laughs> I made it comfortably uh, adjustable type of thing. I'm somewhere right in the middle of this thing here. Uh, so if you have shorter fingers, you can go all the way forward. Um, this. Uh, also comes in two sizes, so I'm trying to do this with two sizes to see if I can get away with it. Um, instead of you know offering you know more and more sizes, that type of thing, and, and fewer things on the shelf, and, and it becomes a little bit more difficult. But if I can get away with two sizes, great. Uh, so I have a larger one and I have a smaller one. So you can kind of you know take a look at the, uh, the two different sizes. Let me hold those up. So this is a large. This is what I'm calling a small. Um, because, you know, what else am I going to call The bottom plates on these, so if you kind of look at this one here, I, I made it so that you, you can kind of see the genesis of the design here. So here's your basic most uh, plate. Uh, and then I, you know, added this, this uh, lower part here to be where your, your string butts up against. Um, I also have a 3D printed version of that as well. But you can kind of see the genesis going from here to there. Um, this one's 3D printed. Eventually I'll come up with ones that are, are just cut out in aluminum uh, and I, I also have a plan for making some brass ones. 
uh, just to get that extra tap. Some people like the you know really heavy, the heavy tap. Uh, I kind of like it myself. I'm, personally, I, I shoot a uh, you know on my my bare bow setup. I use a, a brass plate as well. Um, but those will be available going forward once I finalize the design on this. The spacer on this one, uh, the front part of it, is fixed. Uh, the reason I did this is I want to get as close as I can to that knot without actually touching it. I mean, it, you know, keeping your fingers closer is better. Uh, spreading them apart, you know, you're, you're, on, you're spread out over a larger part of the string and it's harder to keep consistent. Uh, also, making a fixed point type of, type of situation here keeps you consistent. So, um, you're, you know, the relationship between your index finger and where the knock is uh, won't ever change because it can't. So, uh, also having these things made out of out of a polymer makes it ultra ultra adjustable. So, if it's if it's a little bit big for you, I've made them a little bit you know bigger than they they have to be. Um, so if you find it interfering in a weird weird way, maybe your knuckle is a little bit different than anybody else's, you can actually kind of contour it a little bit with a file. Um, and I think that about covers it. Oh, uh, the you know, tops of these, of course, are still flexible to adjust as you hook in and it comes back into your fingers. So all those kinds of things are staying the same for, you know, the, the, the uh, you know, the design I've had in the past. Um, other than that, until I get uh, the feedback on it, I'll, you know, I'll finalize the design. Time frame on that, I'm hoping to get things kind of buttoned up in about a month. We're, we're sitting here at the end of August, so maybe the end of September. Um, I'll definitely have stuff, you know, ready and available as we go into uh, the indoor season. Uh, again, I'll be working with Yoast on this. You'll, you know, uh, if you don't see information on my site, he might have you know more information on that. Uh, the, the faces that I'm, I'm using. Oh, that's another thing. Um, there might be uh, so these are the faces that come from Yoast, and they're designed as bareboat faces. So they're a little bit more more straightforward. Um, I probably will end up uh, you know on my website. I'll, I'll probably have a download or something like that. PDF uh, type of thing that'll give you a little bit more generous kind of uh, uh, cutout with the whole locations here, so you can actually cut out your own faces. If you have your own face material that you like, you like to use, you know we can go go down that you can go down that path as well. Um, that's what's kind of great about you know some of my products. They tend to be a lot more you know uh, uh, customizable to your your needs. Uh, you know, that's the great thing about this this sport is that you know. It's, Poor man's NASCAR again. You know, you get to you get to make these things the way you like them, and uh, I'm going to do what I can to make it. You know, to bring you closer to the way you want to be shooting. So, um, like I said, the I'll, I'll probably have the cutouts type of thing here with the whole location, so you can literally print it out on a piece of paper, trace it out on something, get your whole location, uh, and then cut this out however you need it. Um, It'll be generous on the on, on this side. So this, if you kind of look at this one, this is the larger tab here. Uh, I've, I've extended it out on the bottom here. You can kind of see how it how it uh, uh, this one's a little bit more more generous here, and to take care of that that ring thing, uh, ring finger. I've also included a little bit more material here on that index. So um, we'll probably have a steel rule die. You know, at some point for cutting those out, but again, until such time, uh, I'm, kind of, I'm kind of using these faces right here. All right. Oh, uh, Jaeger Archery, uh, www.jaegerarchery.com. That's J A G E R uh, Archery.com. Um, you can email me. It's, it's just. Uh, uh, and Jager Archery at gmail.com.